short of breath, a shrapnel into the lungs. Militant messiahs, Gatling gun funk monks, the children of a society that'll never trust us. The generation of bloodlust. Break black, what up? High definition. I see all the signs I was missing. Mine cooking on high in my fitted. Cooking. I haven't felt alive in a minute. Feeling like I could die any minute. In the eye of a storm that you couldn't see if you tried. Cause it's inside. I'll be fighting with my pride till I'm winded. Win. Let my ego bleed dry in the trench. Through the ashes in the sky. Let it fly with the spirit. Whoa. It's like I see in high definition. I ain't felt this alive in a minute. Lay it wide awake. The world dies in the city. It's like I see in high definition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CRB Capital Punishment 7. I'm your host, D Bar, the superstar, the original 1613. CRB, make some noise. Yeah! I got two co hosts with me right now. Introduce yourself, man. Okay? Merch. Yeah. Merch is in the building. On to my right, introduce yourself. MBS. It's got a lot to say, apparently. Anyways, these two right here have a lot to say right now. Rapper to my right, introduce yourself. My least favorite sport is snooker. She is dressed like a hooker. It's Boss Man, the two man tailor. <laughs> <laughs> Rapper to my left, introduce yourself. What's good? It's your girl, Lil Ma, your girlfriend's favorite battle rapper. <laughs> we, we out here, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a three round battle. Do you know who's going first? Oh, no. Do we need to do a coin toss? Paper, rock, scissors, let's go. I'm killing three. One, two, three. Bam. You sure you going first? Me first? Boss man's going first. Imagine, if you will, a young power couple, a match made in heaven, two SoundCloud rappers in their bubble, their combined looks, a seven. Till one day the dude outgrew her love and left her hanging in the dust and birthed it out of fury in the sound booth, a force of anger made from lust. So she joins battle rap. Vengeance, before she even has a chance to grieve. But y'all already know the name of that dude. That's the legend of Stab Wound Steve, I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all want to know what rhymes with Reba C. Mar? What? She's a re- I'm not one to finish it. I'm not one to get canceled. I'm not one to use crutches. I'm just here to get my hand held. I'm gonna use some obvious words. She's a woman, she drinks water, she barely works, and she's loud. What are you, my dishwasher? <laughs> I'm joking, you have shit posture. Her least favorite song is The Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. You ought to fix it. <laughs> Ask her to draw an hourglass from memory? Non existent. <laughs> Whoa. You ever met a chick at the methadone clinic? <laughs> I have. They ain't really with the drama, bro. I mean, I too would slide in your DMs, but I'm not a crackhead from Ottawa. <laughs> crackhead? Ottawa? Speaking of stabbing, Steve. Did he promise you the world? Did he promise you cute babies, a little vanilla and vanilla swirl? I'm just trying to figure out how damaged you are to join this shit. I mean, you probably assumed that it wasn't meant for you like pictures of dudes holding fish. I mean, every heart breaks a lesson, but your constant boasting, girl, it's like you're trying to make them notice you. You only keep coming back here because him verbally abusing you is all that you know it's true, but I digress. Replace the name Steve with her actual ex, Court, then the truth ain't quite <laughs> But hey, if this rap shit doesn't work out, you and him both can be back on My Strange Addiction. Right. <laughs> right. Little Juan, little Juan, you're next. Let's go. Well, everybody says fuck cancer. I'm sorry I took it literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I took it literally. You're just mad he gets more pussy than you? You've been single so long, even your homies are starting to think that you're gay. You think you big boss man? We all know that you bluffing. Usually wearing a vest like you a fucking cop or something. Everything about you screams shitty stolen fucking gimmick. It just is not cool now is when the wrestler big boss man did it. Now listen here, fucking officer doofy. <laughs> listen here, fucking officer doofy. I'm not one for conflicts, but tonight's gonna be a scary movie. I don't give a fuck if you've been battling for a while. You are not a vet, because I have not seen you win one fucking battle yet. Now this here, Mortal Kombat. Your punches ain't making contact. I'm a train killer like Kano, and you just signed your own contract. Son, 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 your blade. 
it ain't sharp. You about to get smoked by a noob. You couldn't even beat me with help from a walkthrough on YouTube. <laughs> this dude is literally a fucking cockroach of battle rap. Doesn't matter how many times he gets killed, he just always comes back. <laughs> dude, you must work in the business of haberdashery. You know, someone who makes and sells men's clothes and accessories. This goes for everything he does. And not just rapping, this man specializes in the profession of capping. Now we don't, we don't give a fuck about a boss man like union workers. Fuck around and watch boss man stock drop like a 1929 Wall Street earner. How the fuck you gonna act like you committed any murders? Bro, you look like you got fetal alcohol syndrome and Asperger's. <laughs> Dude so ugly, I can't tell the difference between your ass and your face. Or shut your fucking cock hole so you stink it up the place. Ain't nobody out here like, yo, where's that new boss man battle at? So don't, so, Ain't, ain't nobody out here like, where's that new boss man battle at? So no matter if it's dead or alive, this pussy's still going home in a box like Schrodinger's cat. Yeah. Some of your best moments in battling is you making fun of somebody for being fat. I guess that all that is karma's way of getting you back. <laughs> Dude, you're ten times worse than whoever they put me against next. Did CRB actually put me <laughs> Dude, you're ten times worse than whoever they put me against next. Did CRB really put me up against a male prostitute from Beer Fest? I'm good at my job. <laughs> Dude, I watched your battles and I don't know whose rounds were harder to listen to. Yours or your opponents? I mean, you have the potential to be great, but you're missing all the main components. You know, balls, bars, basically everything else. This evening a fight dog, I'm basically battling myself. <laughs> I'm about to turn John Layfield into John Doe. When he dies, not a deaf person's gonna care where John go. There's a new killer in town, so keep one eye open when you sleep. So when CRB gives me a plate, you know Lamont's gonna fucking eat. Make some noise, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You've been really mean to me lately. <laughs> I don't think I deserve it. On every promo, it's crazy, but you make me feel worthless, so your mouth's on autopilot. Over the top, like you're flying a drone. You talk too much shit for the way you rap. So now I gotta put mine in a retirement home. Oh, uh, okay. So welcome to bars, bitch. <laughs> Where those guys wanna give you a title match. All that gas has gone to your head. And that's because half that roster wants to smash my two cents. Straight bewildered. But one thing I do know what and why is that your other rap name is the Grim Reba. She's got this dead look in her eyes. It's lifeless. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen her photos? I'd rather be homo. You <laughs> are. <laughs> A debatable dude from shoulder to waist. When she bends the hip and holds the pole, she looks like the inflatable tube man frozen in place. <laughs> Call her, little mama. Call her, little mama. Light reaction? Your eyes get scratched in. I guess lip gloss doesn't suit her well. But I wouldn't judge if you got a slight attraction to Michael Jackson. Because in the dark, who can tell? <laughs> You think your skills outweigh the fact you could even stir in my aura? You think our foundations match? You could even work at Sephora, dumb bitch. <laughs> Insanity. That's that collection of thoughts and patterns like you thinking we both are equal. Getting bodied when you talk all this shit to your offs? That's a syndrome. And it's fetal. <laughs> Round two, <laughs> little mom, it's on you. Everyone make some Hold noise, that's good. Yeah. You think you're a boss man? Nah, fam. You're the type to lure little kids into a white van. Like, <laughs> goddamn. Shit. You know, dude was all up in my inbox. Should change your name to Stan. Like, Lil Ma, please date me. I'm your biggest fucking fan. I still will. Like, up. what in the failed... <laughs> <laughs> like, what in the failed fucking abortion is this? If, if, if I was your mom, I would be fucking pissed. Plan B. Your dad should have took your mom to the top of the stairs with a bottle of licks and kicked that bitch down while he gets drunk as shit. Now that is the only time I will ever approve of a dude hitting a chick. Wouldn't have to happen if she just stuck with sucking dick. Now on a completely unrelated note, your mother's a whore. What do you think your homies even stick around you for? It ain't cause they like you dude, there's always something more. It's cause when you're not around the bitch lets them in the back door. Now you told me that your mother wants me to body you dude. You also told me that she wants me to give you a stern talking to. Make, make sense, I fucked your mother and now I got some bad news for you. 
Griffin. Not only do you have to call me Ma, now you gotta call me Daddy too. <laughs> you back. Now my highest view battle has more views than yours and that's honestly fine, but the difference between the two, I actually won in mine. You got 20 battles, I got six and like two thirds of your views. Dude, what the fuck do you think that says about you? Every battle you do, your homies are just gassing you up, but your boys ain't your boys unless they tell you when you suck. Let's go. Let's go. 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 For real. Go. For real. Go. For real. You and your battles suck. I don't know what you're doing here anyway. So how about you go stick a fork in an outlet and just call it a day? Uh, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> why, do, why do you and your homies look like you were beaten up and bullied in high school? And now you all do battle rap thinking it makes you cool. cool. <laughs> Y'all call yourselves the Moss Band Disciples when you step up in the ring. I don't think you know that around here, being a disciple isn't a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no Go. way most of you losers ever get chicks. Y'all just hang out so you can play with each other's dicks. <laughs> now, Ma's been a bunch of puppets like Sesame Street. That would make you big, bro, because you got a big fucking beat. So quit trying to act like you hold shit down, you fucking town. Tonight, y'all can call me Riri, because I run this fucking town. Let's go. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Round three. Let's go, boss man. Let's go, Hold it down! Hold it down! Your voice is fucking annoying. <laughs> Shrieky and whiny. It's like a nasally goat. So squeaky. That throat slimy. It's like outrageously gross. I say, I have to say my piece. I had a vague feeling that her voice be gone by the afternoon. But bro, ain't it sweet when the lady sings? Boy, I love it. Macaroons. Y'all can never say I dropped off. Them haters and dudes are sketch. It seems like you never really popped off, so who gave you the edge? Y'all want to get mad at all for these plays. More than you ego can handle. But y'all get mad when you're watching Johnny's case. You've not been straight. You ego, you Vito Soprano. You read your lines against NBS. Not even a glance at your phone. You think you do better since Corms the Cancerous was writing at home. You think you hard in this hip hop culture? That shit makes me anxious, B. Just cause Ma in bars would be popular don't mean she's Casey Anthony. <laughs> and this battle does more for you than it does for me. And I believe, I guess I had a revelation, but you think you being a chicken all, you could easily sense your desperation. So again, I digress. I am different than you. Fuck basic, originality obsessed. I consider it as true. This is an awful test. This is not success. Your style's limited, abused. I'm an awesome mess. I can rock a dress because I got bigger tits than you. Yeah. Let's go. Who the fuck is you? You were never supposed to pass me. Close that book, end of story. You're 27 years old, Sally. You look like you're 40. Uh, <laughs> I look like I'm 14, but sure. Gross. Gross. <laughs> Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Round three. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm oh, shit. Right now. Oh, shit. Look, Yo. it's Susan. It's Susan. It's Susan. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me see what she has to say. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Susan wanted me to tell you that your dick is small and she blocked your number so stop trying to call. Wow. <laughs> now this goes for any of my opponents, past or future, I'm gonna make one thing fucking clear. We love sluts, so we don't slut shame around here. Oh, well, I do. I am a respectable woman, I'm sorry. The only reason y'all call me a slut is because I'm a chick. Y'all just mad if I have more girls on my face than you ever have on your dick. Oh, let's go. Now who y'all think gets more pussy, me or him? Nah, it's not even debatable. The only pussy boss man has ever gotten is inflatable. So how, so how you out here trying to act like you hard when you're in your mid-30s and still haven't lost your V-card, you fucking retard? I'm a, I haven't lost your V-card, you fucking retard. I'm gonna demasculate you. I didn't even have to mention your little dick. 
I rap better than you, I get more girls than you, and I am a fucking chick. Dude, did you really come out dressed as a weenie? It's not even Halloween. You should have stayed inside where you wouldn't have been seen. You actually left your house like, yo, this outfit's sweet. I guess it's true what they say, dog. You are what you eat. Uh, we'll see. Now watch we'll see. this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Now watch this fag's eyes light up when his boys ask him to play just the tip. Boss man be like, yo, the hotel room tonight is gonna be fucking lit. And did you really call time as a lesbian like liking pussy is a bad thing? No wonder any girl leaves you before you get a chance to pick out a ring. <laughs> now, I'm sick of this, so if I hear one fucking short bar, I'm shooting. So y'all just keep your heads duck. The only way they'll identify man is by his shoes, like we play in 7 Up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Funny how I'm Lil, but you'll never measure up to me, bro. There's no fucking doubt. Terrorists don't put bombs in big packages, it's the small ones you gotta worry about. Yeah. Now, I heard that you used to get drunk and think that hitting girls was alright. All my life, what? you're lucky that you're walking out of here tonight. Even what? growing up, even I was taught that hitting girls isn't right. But lacing out dudes who hit girls is the only time you'll see me fight. Huh? So I'm a stomp on this square like hopscotch. Tonight this dumb fuck is leaving here in a lockbox. You're a fucking pussy, you will never be top notch. Time for you to go home, loser. Fucking kick rocks. Woo! What, you think You think just cause I'm a chick doesn't mean I won't break your knees? I'll knock you in the face till your mouth looks like Zaxxon Owens' tea! So shut your fucking mouth when you speak to me, or your body will be the next one they talk about on TMZ. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! Well, folks, take a five minutes to Try cause it's inside, got me fighting with my pride till I'm winning. Win. Let my ego bleed dry in the trench, through the ashes in the sky, let it fly with the spirit. Whoa, it's like I see in high definition. I ain't felt this alive in a minute. Laying wide awake with both eyes in the center. It's like I see in high definition.